Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to use the Telegram Messenger app. And Telegram is completely free. It's a cloud-based messenger, meaning you could use it on your phone, on your Android or iPhone, and you could use it on the computer for Mac or PC at the same time, and it syncs between all those different devices. Your message syncs that way, so that's a little bit different than some other apps that you may be used to. And Telegram has been around for some time. It was created back in 2013, and you could download Telegram from their website at telegram.org. You could also look for it in the Google Play Store if you have an Android phone, or the Apple Store if you have an iPhone or iPad, and as you can see, for a computer, it's available over here as well. And on this website at telegram.org, you could read more about it, but I'm gonna cover some of the features of Telegram in this video, and I'll compare it to some other apps too in this process. If you have any questions that I don't cover in this video, they have a frequently asked questions section on their website, and it's very, very complete. I went through this, it shows you everything about Telegram's privacy, security, ownership, how they make money, history, and every little tiny thing you could do with the app is covered here. So I'll cover the basics if you're a beginner to it, and then this will be a really good resource for more things that I don't cover. So look for Telegram on your Android device or your iPhone device, and I'm gonna download and open it, and it is going to ask you for a phone number to sign in because it has to send you a SMS, a text message to verify your account. Now, it's not gonna use this phone number to send messages, it's gonna use Wi-Fi, it's cloud-based. But you do have to link it to a phone number, this becomes the way you sign into your account on other devices too. So pick your country, put in your phone number, it will send you an SMS code as I mentioned, type that in here. And on this page, type in your first and last name, and then add a profile picture if you like here. Now you could give it access to contacts, then it will know which one of your contacts already has Telegram, makes it a lot easier, I'll agree to that. And here we are inside of Telegram, and it's really simple to use. On the bottom you have your contacts, you have your chats, where we're gonna initiate our conversation, and settings. Let's go through making our first chat first. All you have to do is come up here, press this icon right here, and this is what you'll see here. You'll see your contact list over here and all your friends that have Telegram that are already on your phone in your contact. Up here, you could search for that person. And there are three different things you could do here. Let me explain these here. You could create a new group. Now I should mention what groups are. They're basically just more than a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but groups are really designed for conversations with family members, friends, and small teams. Now they can be as large as 200,000 members in a group, but if you really are trying to do something big like that, you should create something called a channel, which we'll get to in a second. Then under that, you could create a new contact that you don't see on your contact, so you could click this, and it's gonna ask you again for their phone number here, and then you could type in their first and last name and create a new contact through that, and then if they don't have Telegram, you could send them an invite, and you could create a new channel, which we'll get to at the end. Basically, a new channel is a public way to broadcast your message to an unlimited audience. That's what a channel is. Very unique to Telegram. It's not something that you have in other messaging platforms. So this is why this is more considered a social media platform than a messaging platform. So let's go ahead and type in a new contact and send them an invite. I'll type in their name here, and I'll type in their number to send them an invite. So if they're not on Telegram, this is what ends up happening. You're gonna get this page where it says invite to Telegram. I'll click that, and it basically just creates this message for them, and I could just send it as, as a regular message. On iPhone, if you're using iMessage, it won't be considered a text message, but on other, other platforms, it's gonna be just a regular SMS message. And when they join Telegram, it's gonna say that they join Telegram. This is if they don't have Telegram already, you have to go through this invite process. Now let's go ahead and click this and let's start a conversation. Now multiple different things you could do on these one-on-one -on -one conversations. The group chat also becomes identical to this once you create a group. Let's start by sending a message. To send a message, you just click this box here and type out your message here. And it's just like any other messaging platform, you just have to press this arrow to send that message. Very, very simple when it comes to this option right here. Let's go ahead and attach something. To attach a message, click this paper clip icon, 
Give it access to your photos if you want to send a photo or don't allow a photo if you don't want to send a photo. So I'll select the photo to give access to and I give it access to a photo. You could give it access to a camera. You could send photos and videos this way. You could send files. You could share your location and share someone else's contact. So if I send a picture, I could just click it here and I have some options. I could crop it differently here if I like. You could see that over here. Rotate it. You could go ahead and press this option to flip it and you could go ahead and change the aspect ratio of any any picture here to any of these that's available on every picture press the check mark and press the send option right here and it will send that picture to that person so they send me a message so this is my message to them this is their message back and this is my message to them with the picture you could press this option here that lets you send these type of stickers here and you have the GIF option over here that you could send using any one of these GIFs available in the app. And you have emojis available here as well. I could send this one, for example, as a GIF. And you still have your keyboard emoji too if you want to send any emojis like that here. I could go ahead and send that. You also could give it access to a microphone. Press to record a audio. If I select that again, it says press to record a video. So to record audio, it's asking me to access my microphone and I have to go to settings to turn on both camera and microphone here in order to do that. But once I do, I could just press and hold here and it's recording a voice chat. And as soon as I let go, you could see a voice chat over here. They could go ahead and press play on it and it will play the voice chat for that person. You could see it up there. Now, let me show you some settings that you need to know about. If you click that person's profile icon right here, it will bring you to this page where you could start a call and a video call right over here. For example, I'll do an audio call. If you press this right here, it starts an audio call with that person. It's ringing for them. I could go ahead and put myself on mute. I could go ahead and turn my camera right here and it will ask me to switch it to a video call. And now we're inside of a video call. I could go ahead and flip my camera, mute it, or go ahead and turn off my camera to come back to an audio call. Let me go ahead and hang up right here. Just press end call. And it's going to bring you back to this page. Now, all the media that you use with the person in one on one conversation shows up over here. But any of these you could press and hold down and you have an option here to delete it or see it in chat. And it brings you back to that portion of your chat with that person. Now, if I go back to the home page under chats, you could see all my recent conversations that took place here. I could always slide left on these and archive them or delete them. So this one was just archived, but you do have that option. You could also hide them from the archive. So now it's completely gone. And Telegram has this other options called secret messages that are end-to-end -end encrypted messages. Let me show you how to turn that on. Inside of any conversation, press the person's profile icon. So here I'll press their profile icon right here. It brings me to this page. And if I press the more option here, you could see something called the secret chat. I could press this and it says, do you want to start a secret chat? And this is a end to end encrypted conversation between two people. It does not leave any traces on the server. It has a self destruct timer and there's no forwarding option available here. So if I type out text here and you could see the self destruct icon. I could click it and I could set a timer. So I could set five seconds, press send here. And as soon as I press send, you could see this message will self destruct in five seconds as soon as the other person reads that message. Now to create a group, press the same icon and this time choose new group. And it says 200,000 is the number of people that could be in this group. So you could add any of the people that you see over here by just pressing the check mark next to their name and creating a group that way. And everything inside the group works the same way as I showed you with individual messages. Now, what about channels? Same thing. Press this icon, press new channel. Now channels are different than groups. So let's go ahead and create a channel. This lets you broadcast a message to unlimited audiences. I'll name my channel here, add a description. If you like, press next. You could also add a profile picture. And typically channels will be public. You could make them private though, if you like, and only people with this link could join this channel. I'll leave mine on public here and I could go ahead and create a link over here. So I'll create my link and it's available and I could press next and press okay. And here I could add anyone from my contact. So I'll add just one person 
and here we go now we're inside of a channel it does look like a group it does look like an individual message but you're not broadcasting to a place that is public other people could join this as well with that link and you have this bell icon now you could make sure that members don't receive a notification or receive a notification when a post is created here so i could go ahead and put a post here press it and it's going to create a post just like this and other members in here will see it now to invite members to this, all I have to do is press this icon right here and I could go ahead and share this link with them and they could go ahead and join and you could see the number of subscribers over here. You could also search within that channel over here. And when you go back to the chat window, the channels and the groups and individual messages will all show up here on individual lines. Now, one of the useful things with Telegram too is you could create a username for yourself and share that username instead of a phone number so people could find you that way. Let me show you that here. You could go to settings and right here, you could set a photo or video as your profile, but you could also set a username. Click this and you could create a username and it says people will be able to find you this way instead of using your phone number. So go ahead and set that up if you like to do that instead. Telegram on their appearances as well has a lot of options to customize this app that I found really useful like the way your text messages show that's going to be available over here bunch of different colors and options to choose from even app icon could be changed here from the default to the classic versions here even your chat background could be something besides this solid black background look at all these different options you have so very very customizable app over here and i'm going to put a link in the description to an article that mashable wrote that compares telegram to Signal and WhatsApp and Messenger as far as security and privacy go, which one is end-to-end -end encrypted, for example, on private phone calls or group calls. All of that is explained there and it's really very well researched. So make sure you check that out when you get a chance. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for easy to follow app videos just like this one. Check out the other videos I have on Signal, WhatsApp and Messenger to compare your options. And I hope to see you next time.